I have in this camera bag an interchangeable lens camera with five lenses, a flash trigger, three lights, and most amazingly of all, three six and a half foot light stands. How is that possible? Stick around. How can I possibly fit three light stands in here? And I'm talking strong enough to hold up an AD200. Check this out. In my front pocket here, here's the first one. Here's the feet and here's the shaft, six and a half feet. Here's the second one right here, to carbon fiber. This is a six and a half foot light stand. Here's the third one. I could fit one or two more in here if I wanted to. What are they? Stick around. Guess what my obsession is? <laughs> $6,000 cameras don't excite me. This excites me. And I am so excited. This is half a year in the making and I'm hopefully you're gonna like this video as much as I do too. I travel a lot, I hike a lot. And you know, when you have a camera bag, the cameras and the lenses don't take up a lot of space and weight. It's the lights and the light stands. That's the biggest and the bulkiest and the heaviest, especially if you have the batteries, the light. But the most awkward, annoying thing to have with you is a light stand. This is annoying. You can't fit this in a camera bag. My obsession has been figuring out the most portable, absolutely compact light stand imaginable that you can actually fit in a camera bag. And I figured it out. And this is gonna, you are gonna be, your mind is gonna get blown today. This is gonna be so amazing. Now, obviously there are these lightweight um, carbon fiber ones like this Manfrotto carbon nanopole. It's like one and a half pounds. It goes up pretty high. And then there's this Nissan LS550C, which I really love. This is one of my favorites. These will not hold a 600. They're too uh, weak for that. But they will hold a 200, as you can see. And, you know, a light like the well making and stuff like that. But even when those things are collapsed, that's still not going to fit in a camera bag. So this is what I have considered the challenge. To hold something in the air up about this height that doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't it doesn't take up space. Here's a light stand you can unscrew and then collapse it and the base collapses. So that collapses down to this. It's better but it's wide and bulky. You can adjust the feet which is great. You just screw on the base which is great. You just go up like this. Now this is kind of low. So what you can do is you get a carbon fiber extension rod and you just screw it on top and now you have something that's the right height. So if you want to have a spigot on there, then you screw a quarter 20 spigot on top. 8600 on there and have it as, look, look at that. Now the six footer is almost seven and a half feet. These things are great. These carbon fiber rods, it's only $19, it's 14 inches. Um, this is by, uh, Zeroni, and there's another um, one by a company called Evo, which is 14 inches. You can get two of them for $30. They weigh nothing. They're like uh, 3.6 ounces. Here's a thinner one by Evo Gimbals. This is super lightweight, only 2.6 ounces for this. It weighs nothing. And if you want to have them a little longer than that, then you get ones that can expand, like this one here by, see that one goes a lot longer. It goes to 23 inches. You can adjust this to whatever height you want. So what I did is I unscrewed the shaft, got rid of the base, and now the shaft uh, folds down to this, and this can be then screwed onto a different base. This is a slide-on extension, by, this is by Fotix uh, E48. It's 19 inches, $25. It weighs uh, exactly half a pound. And here you can stick it right onto uh, spigot like that and this is actually a, this is really this is steel this is heavy duty so you can definitely put an 8600 on that and there's another one here this is a really heavy duty one by Matthews this is a it's 16 inches collapse 50 inches when it's open it's a baby pin Matthews extension stand it's 50 bucks and this thing is pretty heavy duty this thing this is a this is professional I mean this is this can hold just about anything and so this will then can go on to, for example, there are, I mean, people, I know you're going to think about these, uh, these bases, like these little ones here. These are called tabletop stands. This one's uh, 13 and a half ounces, so it's not even a pound. 
So you could use something like that. Feet are kind of wide, it's pretty good. And then you put the Matthews on there, and this is actually pretty strong. It looks kind of flimsy, but it'll hold an 8600 easily because this is steel. This is metal, it can hold it. I don't like these bases because the feet are not very wide. If I'm using an 8600, I like to use legs like this, at least this wide. This is still kind of heavy though, because this is steel. This isn't really that lightweight. My thing is to, if possible, to not even use the heavy flashes. This, these, this, this is seven pounds. I don't like lugging these uh, in luggage and hiking. It's just really too heavy. So if I can use a 200, I would rather do that. So that takes us into the medium weight stands here. This is where I start getting more excited because lightweight flashes, I'd rather take two lightweight flashes than one heavy one. These are carbon fiber actual light stands. The problem with these is they don't get any small than this and that's still too long for me now we start getting to selfie stick stands these things are made for taking selfies so what I did is I got the most maximum length heavy-duty selfie stick stands that I could find this is a 70 inch so this is above eye level this is only $30 this is still gonna be too big in a camera bag this is the longest selfie stick tripod you can get it's 67 inches It's by Aura Day it's just only $17 it's uh, less than one and a half pounds and when you collapse it it Still too long for me, but it's good as far as, I mean, if you want to set something up quick, you just go like this, bam, you're set up. And look at how wide the feet are. That's really nice, it's a really good one. Again, it's less than one and a half pounds. This one is a little lower, but it's a little smaller too. This is by Pinfitter, it's 64 inches. It's only $20 and it's only 15 and a half ounces. So this is less than a pound. And remember, you can take a extension tube and put it on these things. So suddenly now this thing that's eye level goes up to the right level from putting up a light. This is ridiculous. So now we're in the world of medium duty extension rods. Now, now I mean, here's the smallest one of all. I mean, this is, don't laugh. It's got a quarter 20 thread here and a quarter 20 thread here. This thing here could make the difference between don't laugh here. Of course, it's for lightweight stuff. It's metal, it's heavy duty, so this isn't gonna bend, it's not gonna break. Uh, but if you want something a little bit thicker, <clears throat> you got something like this. This is a, a little carbon fiber one. I'll put the links down below. But the things that I like the most are something like this. This is by Fiutech. This is a reach pole version three. It's six and a half inches when it's closed and it's 23 inches when it's big and it's four and a half ounces. So this is really good for adding 23 inches to a light stand. And now look at how much length you have added to your light stand. It clicks. You've got these little things here that click. So they actually, it, it doesn't collapse. And then when you're done, you twist it and collapse it. So this is 23 inches extension in your hand uh, for only a few ounces and a few dollars. Here's the length when it's expanded and I like how it has a wide flat thing for things to rest on. It's not just a thread. Here's one by Ulanzi. This is a MT57. Now this thing doesn't lock. It's called a friction. You can pull it apart and that's it and then the friction keeps it in. So these things can actually hold more than the friction ones. The friction ones can hold lightweight stuff. This is pretty cool. This is a 26 inch when it's expanded. This is by Aoka. This is only 2.7 ounces. That's a lot of length that you're adding to the top of a light stand. Carbon fiber, so it weighs nothing. You could use any selfie stick that has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. You can use a selfie stick to hold up an AD200 if, it, if it's a locking selfie stick. These three here are the ones I'm most excited about. This thing here is really, really, really lightweight. This is a uh, 16 inch extension rod by Alzo. It's $11 and it's really, really lightweight. Uh, it weighs almost nothing. The only thing is it's got, the threading is way too long on here. So, because uh, if you thread it in too deep into a camera, you could actually break it. So what I do is I, I either put some uh, screw, uh, bolt, what do you call it? nuts on here or washers to make it not as long or you just take a hacksaw and cut off the half of it. These are really, really good for adding extra length to your light stand. The other ones that excite me a lot are these things. These are gooseneck ones. You got a really thin one here and you can bend these things. This is a 14 inch uh, threaded gooseneck that comes with the 9A uh, light stand that is $29. I'll get to that in a second. And this one here 
is a 11 inch slip-on extender by Camvade. It's only $12. And the cool thing about this is, when you put this on, you don't have to have to screw it in. You just slide it on, attach it. And these things are pretty darn strong. You don't have to have a bracket or a ball head with your light. You just screw it right onto this thing. And then if you want to bend it into position, you just bend the light. <laughs> so you don't need a bracket, a big, heavy, clunky bracket there, unless you're doing an umbrella or something. But if you're just using the light, which I, I always just use these things here, I hardly ever use modifiers. So this is great for when you want to add another, you know, 10, 11 inches to your light stand, and you can get it, get it up higher than you could have before. So here's my six foot light stand and I've got the light just about the right height here for doing uh, portrait stuff. You know, I've got it up about seven feet. This is over seven feet. And I can bend this thing. Look at that. It, it, this is not going to fall. This is really, really good. And it's only a few bucks and it doesn't weigh much. So this is, really, this is a really fun one to use when, when you're trying to travel and have, because I, I really hate, I hate the brackets that come underneath. This bracket that comes with the AD200, this is heavy and clunky, and it's just, I don't, any, every little ounce counts. This one is kind of cool. Look how long this is. It's not that short, but if you consider this being a light stand, this thing, when it's expanded, even without a base, this thing is taller than me. Basically, you're using a collapsible selfie stick with a base. You could use these stupid little tabletop stands, but the feet are too small. And when it collapses, it's kind of clunky. It's kind of fat and clunky. And it's, I don't know. This thing is a 10 foot super length selfie stick by Top Fit. Look how long this is. This is insanely long. Uh, what I do is I never use the top part. I keep it collapsed so that keeps that makes this stronger So even here look how tall this is. This is like eight feet tall and I already have the top two feet collapsed on there And then you, you turn it and that locks it in place and it's pretty it's pretty strong It'll hold a 200 for sure I take the cell phone part off the top and then I put one of these things on there This is what I screw on these things that are made for cell phones. So now See, that slides in there. So I turned it into something that's intended for a cell phone to something that you can screw with a quarter 20, a light or a camera or anything on there. And now that, that and this is pretty, this holds really well. So anyway, so now this has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. So now I can screw this into a base. Look at how wide this base is. Really, really wide base. And I can, look at, I'm gonna unscrew this. And this collapses down. That's the base. It looks like a 3 8 which it is. But what if you have a quarter 20? Well, if you have a quarter 20 and you start screwing it on, look at that. The 3 8 part is spring loaded. It goes down. You see, you see that? You push this on there and it starts pushing in the 3 8 parts and screwing into the quarter 20. And it goes really fast. You spread these out wide. Put rocks on there or anything heavy and you've got a light stand it goes up to 10 feet high so this is really cool but this thing is a little too long so what else have we got marcus let's get into the bases first this one is i really like this is a tf19 by kula hyoda really small really lightweight you can put it into different positions and it's extendable. You can get nice and wide with this. But my favorite one of all is this one here. This is what I fit in my camera bag and it comes with this rod. So this thing, look how small this is. It's carbon fiber. It's definitely worth it. I bought five of these things. It's a little small as tripods go, but it's perfect for a light stand base. So look how wide that is when you put it on there. Now you could put this rod on there, but that's not going to go very high. So what I do is I take these expandable selfie sticks and I stick those on there. Now we're talking serious length. Look at this. Look how tall that goes. That is a decent light stand. You can go nine feet up. Really big spread with these legs. It's stronger than it looks, but if you do want a little more strength, then take in the little ones at the bottom, and now you have something that's reinforced, and this is pretty darn strong. I could put three of those light stands in my camera bag. A good start for a base is a selfie stick stand. This is one that I really like. It comes with a 14 inch gooseneck. You screw that into here, and now it has a, uh, it has a pretty cool heavy duty uh, uh, he head that goes on there, but I don't use that. What I use is this. This is a uh, male to male quarter 20 adapter, and I just put that on the top here. So what I have now is a selfie stick stand that is almost seven feet tall, 
with an 8200 on there. And the cool thing is I don't need a bracket up here. Again, I can just bend it into position if I want, as long as I have some weights on the, on the feet here. So if I unscrew this and, and collapse it, this collapses down really fast. This is what the size when it's uh, totally collapsed, and this is how tall it gets when it's finished. Here's an Oraday, really good base. These are different combinations. And then you can just put any kind of extension rod on there that you want. So in this case, I'm using this carbon fiber one. Look how small this carbon fiber extension rod is. This will fit into any camera bag easily. You screw that on there, nice solid connection here, and then you add it to whatever length you want. So now you have a selfie stick stand that goes again way up high like that. So here we have a $20 selfie stick stand and what I did is I just took one of these really lightweight also and by the way I, I, I hacked off the uh, I cut the threading down with a hacksaw file it down a bit and now that has the right length threading I put this on here you can't even tell that that's not even a that this is not even part of the light stamp look at this nice perfect height this base is a smaller version by the same company Aoka but this is a baby Aoka this is a smaller one it's a pretty good base as far as light stands go that's a pretty good base look how small this thing collapses down to when it collapses that is <laughs> for a light stand base. Moving on, QuickPod Selfie Extreme. This is uh, not cheap, it's $80 because this is made for underwater. It has a uh, quick release plate, so that's really cool. You don't have to screw it on, it's just a quick release. So here's a pole that you can use if you can afford it. And it's pretty heavy duty, this is a heavy duty stand. It's not very collapsed though when it collapsed. That, that's still a little too long for me, but it doesn't weigh much and it's very sturdy. Neewer has a TP15 base. It's the exact same one as the Yoka has. It's just a little bit cheaper. I added the Pell King, 76 inches. It's only $23, it's only 9.2 ounces. I got five of these things. This is your base, this is your stand. This thing is 10 feet long. Look at the length of this thing. And, oh wait, it's not even expanded all the way. I can't believe how lightweight this is. This is so lightweight. This weighs less than a pencil. If you want to talk about lightweight, every ounce counts, this is the most lightweight thing you could possibly get. You just can't put like an 8200 on there. You can only put like stuff like this on there, like the speed light or little LED lights like this. So here's a light stand that will fit in a, in a camera bag. This is a V-Rig TP13. This is a friction stand, meaning you don't twist it, you just pull it apart and it has enough friction to hold things into place. And it's pretty long. So this thing, I will then, I then screwed into this uh, uh, Aoka stand and look at this, look how tall it is. It goes up to like six and a half feet. Here we have a six and a half foot light stand that fits in your camera bag. So here's one by U-Rig. This one is super lightweight, but it's really flimsy. I mean, it's super flimsy and it's a friction. So you could use this for a behind the scenes camera where you have just a GoPro going. Um, this is a, a U-Rig TP03. It weighs almost nothing, very portable. And if you want to just stick a GoPro, you know, in behind the scenes filming you, you just pull it apart and that's it. You put it, it only goes up this high. So if you want to add uh, a few more inches to it, then I would suggest using something like this carbon fiber by Aoka. And now you're up to like six feet here. But again, this will only hold a, a, a GoPro or something like that. And this thing here, this is the most ultra light one of all. This thing is so lightweight. <laughs> this, this thing is uh, 63 inches tall, so it's eye level. 7.8 ounces, this is by Ashener P100. This weighs so little, it's unbelievable. It comes with a light, this is so funny. Stick your cell phone in here with these little tabs, and then to turn on the light, you have to use like a pen to click the button in here. Look at that, you got, you got daylight, tungsten on each side. This is so cool. Look, look at that. You can even change the type of light. A base and a stand. There you go. This fits in a camera bag. I could fit three of these in a camera bag, plus my camera, plus my lights and everything. Look at this. This is the way to go. So the bases I recommend are this one by Kula Hiota. This is less than a pound. It's only 15.3 ounces. This one by Aoka, carbon fiber, CMP163CL. Really wide base. Uh, the mini uh, baby Aoka here. And this is the twin. This is exactly the same one as this, but by knee where it's a little less expensive. The TP15. And then you've got this one here, the TF19, also by Kula Hiota. This one is also really good. And they all break down to something really, really small. 
small. These are tiny. Two super lightweight rods that I really like personally are these. This one here especially, the Pelking 76 inch monopod selfie stick. It's only $23. It's only 9.2 ounces and it locks so you can put an 8200 on here. If you do something lighter, like a little light, like you know something like this, then you, you can use this one here. This is a V-Rig TP13. This weighs even less. This, <laughs> this thing only weighs 4.8 ounces. This is not a locking stick. This is a friction stick. So if you have anything heavier than this, it will start pushing in, but it'll hold something like this. Uh, it's 53 inches long. It's only $20, but this is seductively lightweight. My God, you can barely even feel this. This is intended for an Insta360 as an invisible extension pole. Very, very lightweight stuff, but if you want a little bit stronger and a little longer, this one here is the one to get. The Pelking 76 inch. Again, this is only $23 and it weighs almost nothing. And if you want something a little bit stronger, then I suggest these two selfie stands by 9A or Oraday, or as, if you want something really strong, then the Impact LS6. And then you can extend the length from there using any one of these, like the, I, I love the uh, gooseneck one. That's really nice to add on there. Or the Alzo 1286 really works right. Or the Aoka, or my favorite, Fiutech Reach Pole version three. That thing is pretty darn rugged. So there's all different kinds of combinations. You can mix and match these. The Impact LS6 is a great solid base. I've taken this around the world and you can add another couple of feet on top of that. You can definitely put a 8600 on there. The selfie stands, I would do a 200, but not a 600. And then again, this is for traveling or hiking where you want something you guys, you know, it's, yeah, it's flimsy, it's wobbly, but it will hold the weight. And that's what matters. You know, I don't make videos for YouTube. I, I make this for myself. I really want to know what is the most lightweight possible travel stand that I could possibly take when I'm traveling because every ounce counts. You know, your baggage can't go over 55 pounds and that adds up really, really fast. And uh, so I, I love that challenge. I love saying, well, what, what can I, the most amount of gear that I can take, but it's really lightweight and small. And I, it's a never ending fascination of mine. I am obsessed with travel stands. I don't care about cameras and lenses and that. For some reason, I like lights and stands. I just love stands. And you know I like to use light stands as tripods. I put my cameras on light stands. So <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you uh, got inspired by this. I mean, there's so many options here uh, for what you could use to hold up a camera in the air, seven feet up, eight feet up. That goes down to almost nothing. I'll put the links to everything down below. <laughs> I, I hope you en enjoy this stuff as much as I do because I, I just am fascinated. I just can't stop playing with light stands. Enjoy photography. I'll see you in the next video. Oh,